Hi guys, Barbie for Spurred on outside the lane. On days like this, when the sun's out, when we've got a result as glorious as that was, Tottenham Hotspur 2, Manchester City 0, it doesn't feel any better. The new ground is taking shape. There has never been a better time to be a Tottenham Hotspur fan. We have the best manager in the league. Everyone's been talking about Pep Guardiola, and rightly so, he won every league match this season so far. He's done everything at Barcelona, done almost everything at Bayern Munich, and he's had a great start at City. But Mauricio Pochettino today outdid him. He outdid him because Spurs didn't give Manchester City a chance. They didn't let them play from the back. They pressed Bravo every single time he had the ball. So if he didn't play it long, he'd knock it out to Otamendi or to Kolarov. Uh, and he would then play it long and we would win every first and every second ball. The first ball would be Jan or Toby, the second ball would be Victor Yan Wanyama who had an unbelievable game and we didn't allow them in it. Now sure, in a game like that against a team with such brilliant quality as Manchester City, you're going to concede chances. But it was only really the back end of the second half that that happened and when that happened, Hugo Lloris made a couple that I can think of absolutely top draw, world class saves and that is the key to being one of the best teams in the league or being as good as you want to be is if your goalkeeper only has to make a couple of saves a game he's there to do it because his concentration levels are there and he's good enough to do it from 1 to 11 not including squad numbers of course but from 1 to 11 Tottenham Hotspur all played 9 or 10 out of 10 I'm going to start with Hung Min Son he played the force 9 position tactically I don't know if Spurs have done that very often but he absolutely pulled it off. He was there to hold the ball up when the kind of little mid-range balls came in from Carl Walker or Danny Rose. He'd hold it up and he'd bring Ericsson into play. He stretched it long. Sure, he got caught offside a lot, but that's because he was because he was stretching it with a really, really high line that Manchester City were playing. And he caused them trouble all day, every day. It was a shame that he didn't get to take the penalty. I don't like to see players fighting for a penalty uh, like Lamella and him did and if Lamella is going to do that he has to score it but that's the only tiny negative on what was an unbelievable performance. Deli Alli's finish for the second goal was absolutely top draw. Danny Rose's cross for the own goal of the first game uh, for the first goal and we kept a clean sheet against the highest scorers in the league a team that play absolutely liquid football. I'm going to say this that was the best football match I've seen at Tottenham in my time and I've been watching a lot down the years 30 odd years 25 odd years watching Tottenham games but in terms of tactically in terms of two teams going at their best fantastic it was so enjoyable to watch in a way I wish I'd been a neutral because I was so stressed that I couldn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to but looking back on it as I walked out of uh, the south stand on my way out I walked behind some Man City fans and they were saying that was terrible they were saying Man City was shit but what they don't realize or what they're choosing not to realize is that we didn't let them play Pochettino didn't allow them to do what comes so easily to them. And I think there's a blueprint there now. I really do. I think Celtic kind of gave an inkling of it when they drew 3 all with them in the Champions League in the week. And Tottenham Hotspur did an absolute number on them today. And because of that, Man City fans are starting to doubt whether they've got what it takes. Spurs fans absolutely starting to believe that this could happen because we're, we're grinding out the 1-0 wins or the 2-1 wins uh, like we did against Middlesbrough. We're going to places like Stoke and winning 4-0 and when the big teams come here, you think about the last season or so, when the big teams come here, do they get results here? Not very often. Arsenal just about did. Chelsea just about did. Man United got turned over here. Man City have been turned over here twice. When teams come at Tottenham Hotspur, we open them up, we create chances, and even when we've got injuries, and let's not forget today, no Dembele, no Dyer, he was just on the bench because he's coming back from uh, fitness, no Kane. We have now got the squad depth to fill those injuries in and to take on the best teams in Europe and turn them over and deserve it. That's the key. It's not a smash and grab raid. It was an absolutely brilliant piece of tactical winning football from Maurizio Pochettino. And those players can be proud of themselves. And the Spurs fans, I can tell you, absolutely buzzing all the way up and down Tottenham High Road today. It feels like it did at the back end of last season before we fell away when I was going to every single game and it was jumping and the fans were starting to believe. I'm telling you, this is a team that can do things, especially with the squad depth, with the addition of Wanyama and Sissoko, who played really well today as well, I hasten to add. Spurs are going to go a long way this season and teams are not going to like coming here and facing us because the energy, the commitment, the tirelessness, the stamina that our players showed today, I've never seen in a football team just pressing from minute one to minute 96. 
turned over a fantastic team. Guys, that's been my match review. Let me know what you thought from where you were watching the game. Let me know how far this Spurs team can go and just enjoy this international break because we're unbeaten, no one else is, and we are pushing to get top of the league very soon. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube as well, guys. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at TV and get behind the boys every time they play. Come on, you Spurs.